wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Fred D. Rose Report. Watched the Raw, of course, Monday like you guys probably did and uh, got up to the last the last 20 minutes, man. Took me back to the old days. Ever since then, uh, ever since I've seen that, I haven't been myself. I was the neighbor a little while ago, but now I'm back. I loved it. There's speculation right now that the Raw, now catch this, this would be a good WrestleMania uh, match or uh, an ongoing deal at WrestleMania. There's speculation that the anonymous Raw general manager, we're going to be find out, finding out that it's going to be Vince McMahon. Potentially setting up a Rock versus McMahon attitude era flashback for the showdown at WrestleMania 27. So whether there's going to be conflict there, like normal, we'll see. It might be might be a good deal. I'm about ready to buy uh, the pay-per-view, whether it's available or not. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Tickets, by the way, for WWE's Hall of Fame ceremony April 1st is uh, going quick, by the way. Less than 100 tickets sold. I don't need to. Me and the neighbor. VIP tickets for uh, WWE Access uh, is going at $70, and they're now sold out, by the way. Best tickets uh, sale in history, they said. Uh, likely based on the guarantee of this, that you will get autographs from WWE stars. Uh, general admission tickets are still available, though, for $35. Hall of Famer Jim Ross, he updated his blog section of the JR Barbecue website, or .com, anyway. Uh, he said, John Cena interaction, he says, some of the fans hammered on us uh, on Twitter, uh, proclaiming that it will be The Rock versus Cena at WrestleMania 27. He said, that, not what I heard. So, just stop it. I would, would, I would rather see, if Rock did any match at all, I would rather see him and Randy Orton go at it, because Orton is the legend killer. And Rock may be going into the Hall of Fame. Never know. Rock returning full time. He says the Rock is coming back to wrestle full time. So this is uh, Jr. And I said uh, that's not what I got out of uh, the most electrifying moments in uh, in years yesterday. But you know he did say that he was never going to leave. He's back. I'm not ever going to leave. I don't. Probably means mentally. Anyway, then he, uh, Jr. said something about the Raw GM. Who is it? I said, I don't know. And furthermore, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, The Rock had been added to WWE alumni section as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Why? Uh, well, you know, I liked it when he took his glasses off and he said, now I'm Dwayne. He could click in and out. Uh, that's, that's good. I could go say he's a good actor, but he's going to be a good car salesman. While the USA Network opted to censor the word ass on Johnson's promo last night, uh, the score in Canada uh, bleeped every mention of it. Now, I only heard him bleep uh, ass once, but apparently up in Canada, no ass. Tickets for uh, WWE SummerSlam, by the way, pay-per-view is scheduled to go on sale 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Pacific time, there. Uh, some more reactions from The Rock's huge uh, return on Raw last night. Steve Austin said, it was great to see The Rock back on Raw uh, uh, last night. He said, hell of a promo, electrifying cat, great stuff, heading into WrestleMania. They may have something uh, for uh, Steve to do also, I would think. Maybe not. But uh, he would have been just about as good, except they would have had to, and we're used to foul mouth Austin, and it wouldn't be right to PG him down, or G him down. Wouldn't be right. Chris Jericho said, congratulations to one of my favorite opponents and greatest rivals in on uh, returning to WWE. The Rock is best, best promo man of, of all time. Now John Cena, the heat between him and Cena was real. Because Cena used to bitch at Rock because he turned his back on wrestling, is what Cena said. He wasn't acknowledging it. He didn't even want to be known that he ever you know, was there when he did interviews for his movies and things. But... Uh, that's pretty much in a nutshell what Rock was upset about. But anyway, Cena responded to Rock's comments on Raw via his Twitter account, citing C Nation. Rock was in rare form tonight. He said uh, it was great to see him enjoying himself, uh, you know, out there, even if it was at my expense. He said, I've been called a lot worse. Just glad to see him back in action. All right, other uh, superstars, you know, talked about with CM Punk. He said, Rock owes me 50 bucks for going over 20 minutes past the hour. 
uh, making me miss my Valentine's reservation at whatever he was going to. And Big Show said, did you notice the chill bumps on Rock's arms as he uh, did his catchphrases? He said, Rock's back. By the way, uh, former diva Maria Canales, she's been uh, taking acting lessons. And none too soon. <laughs> oh, by the way, Candace uh, Michelle, ex-diva. Uh, she announced on her Facebook that she's pregnant today. Didn't have a thing to do with it. Wish I did. Brett DiBiase uh, has been working as a heel in uh, WWE develop, developmental since uh, returning from his injury, and apparently he's sided with the FCW champion and former NXT rookie Lucky Cannon, who is now a heel. Takes a lot of soul to have heel, don't? It? Dwayne Rock, uh, of course, says on uh, is now on Twitter at uh, the Rock, twittercom slash the Rock. He wrote last night uh, before Raw that uh, Twitter uh, just got rocked. <laughs> anyway, highlights from the, the chat uh, that The Rock did on the WWE website. I don't know if he caught any of that or not. He said uh, one of the questions he was asking is about returning. He said, why now? He said, because I felt the time was right to do something special. Not only can I feed my own needs and desire to perform, more importantly, that uh, it's something to do special for the WWE fans. And did you notice though? Uh, I tell you what, when you're making a you're making a bunch of money in movies, but when you get into that live arena and you start hearing all them people chanting your name and screaming and yelling, it does a lot to you. Just like my wedding night. WrestleMania 27 goals. He says my goal is to create a, an incredible show. And then he and they ask him about Cena. He said, uh, John Cena said a variety of things that came across my desk, uh, which at first I thought was interesting, and then I felt it was laughable because the comments really didn't make any sense to me at all. All right. WWE confirmed on tonight's, uh, last night's Raw that uh, there was going to be a 12-man um, tag match, or over whatever it is, a 12-man match on the 600th episode of uh, SmackDown air Thursday, or Friday. And it won't be a dark match. The match is going to be, well, I ain't going to name all 12 people, but Undertaker briefly appeared in WWE's latest 221.11 video on uh, last night's Raw. He set to return Monday, Raw in California. Vicky Guerrero announced on Raw that uh, this week, Friday Night Smackdown will feature the official confrontation of Dolph Ziggler and the new, uh, as the new world champion. Vicky told Edge that she warned Edge about using the spear, and now he's going to lose his title. Whew. She's hard, ain't she? Uh, and Vicky also said Edge's job's in jeopardy, and she has evidence that he's the one who attacked Teddy Long in the ongoing storyline. Uh, this week's SmackDown, by the way, is going to be taped tomorrow night, or rather uh, tonight, San Diego, California. All right. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, customer came in and wanted to spend money. How rude. Hey, WWE Hall of Famer Terry Funk made a surprise appearance at tonight's uh, SmackDown Live event at First National Bank Center, uh, the home uh, arena of West Texas A&M University, Canyon, Texas. He spoke to the crowd about uh, and before having his hand raised by the big show. Uh, Faster, by the way, Rock's movie. Uh, he's making another one. It's uh, Fast and Furious, like number five or something with uh, Vin Diesel. It's going to be coming out. But anyway, Faster, the one's out now starring uh, uh, Rock Johnson, uh, let's see, debuted at number eight this week in Australia for a gross of $800,000. Don't know whether that's good or bad for Australia. Wrestling Observer uh, editor Dave Meltzer, you know him? Believe it to be the lowest opening for a Johnson flick in the county. Country. And the county. Former uh, WWE ring announcer Lillian Garcia was among uh, the celebrities at the red carpet at last night's uh, 53rd annual Grammy Awards in Los Angeles, California. Images of the song uh, or a uh, songstress at the Music Awards are available on uh, YouTube. And uh, I liked the Grammys this year. It, it was real good. Good song, good productions. And uh, what do I know about music, though? But uh, I do know I gotta go.